Hello, I'm Kevin Bullock, CEO of Anaconda Mining. I have quite an exciting story to tell you about the company in this bull market. We have production, which generates significant cash flow, which we use to grow the company. We have highly prospective exploration ground in and around uh, past producing high grade mines where we're exploring. We have five drills turning, doing thousands of feet of exploration and generating results over the next few months. And we can easily convert into production by utilizing these results and uh, leveraging off our current facilities, which include a 1300 ton a day mill and long-term tailings facility in uh, Eastern Canada. Anaconda trades on the TSX, the full board uh, under the symbol ANX, but it also trades on the over-the-counter QX, OTC QX under the symbol ANXGF. Uh, we also have a website, www.anacondamining.com, with a lot further information on there. Anaconda Mining is a unique company in the fact that it has not only production, but uh, exploration and aggressive growth strategies through development. It's a company that has production in eastern Canada, which is a very good area to be, very safe and accessible area. We've been producing for over 10 years on a cash flow positive basis. The generation of cash has allowed us to advance the company in a way that doesn't dilute the company as a whole by issuing shares in financing. So we've kept the share structure quite tight in our quest to grow the company. It's a three-pronged approach to get from our current 20,000 ounces a year to over 150,000 ounces a year in the next three to five years. It's through internal exploration, internal development, and external merger and acquisition opportunities that we propose to do this. The Point Bruce operation is the operation that is the backbone of the company and supplies the cash flow moving forward. We produce 18 to 20,000 ounces a year of gold and our cash costs are all in uh, sustaining costs are around $1,100 an ounce US. That leaves us quite a large delta in order to use to do our growth strategy. One of those strategies is to find more ore nearby the producing assets that we have that we like to leverage off of because of the uh, area, uh, the long-term tailings facility, the infrastructure that we have there in place. We can find relatively small or larger deposits that can be milled at the mill that we have. The mill that we do have in Newfoundland on the island is the only producing mill, uh, producing gold mill on the island. That leads me to our exploration property, which is called the Tilt Cove project. Tilt Cove is a vast area uh, over 15 miles long where we picked up the entire greenstone belt, the host of mineralization, gold mineralization. And in the middle of it was a past producing mine that produced at a very high grade, about 10 grams per ton. And we're lock, looking a long strike on the same trend for further deposits similar to that. And with an operating mill 40 kilometers to the west, it's easily truckable uh, to the only producing mill on the island that we happen to own. So we're very excited about the exploration potential at Tilt Cove. Uh, we wouldn't be moving forward as fast as we want to without a development project. And uh, to that end, we have the Gold Row Gold Project in Nova Scotia which is well underway uh, on a feasibility study. And we have about 1.4 million ounces in resource. It's the largest gold deposit in the province in Atlantic Canada. We're well on our way through the feasibility study and it's uh, we're doing some optimization within that process that's showing some very rewarding results. And it's going to be quite a robust project. Uh, the feasibility is ongoing. Uh, we are infill drilling. As a matter of fact, the company has five drills turning company-wide, drilling over 30,000 meters uh, of uh, core to look for gold. There will be constant flow of information in news releases of results, and we look forward to delivering those results to the public on an ongoing basis in our search uh, for more gold. The project continues to grow at Goldboro. Uh, the feasibility is a definitive definitive feasibility, which is the final feasibility before a production decision. We're quite excited to be finishing that next year as we finalize the permitting, which will be at the end of next year or shortly after in the year to follow. Uh, the production scenario there would be a mine that produces somewhere between 
60 and 80,000 ounces a year. So that would be a big jump for us uh, currently at 15 to 20,000 ounces a year. In the M&A front, we are looking for other opportunities worldwide. It would be better closer to home, but we know and we respect that mineralization doesn't respect political boundaries, but we do. And we'll look everywhere that's safe and uh, is a place that can do work and good exploration. So with those things combined, we plan to use our internal discovery, our internal development, and our external M&A activity to grow the company aggressively from its current rate to over 150,000 ounces a year. So stay tuned for a lot of information flow through our press releases and um, some significant uh, advancements at Goldberg, our development project.